gonna do what Nostalgic Dave did yesterday. I'm gonna do that um, live stream with the questions and just answer them for y'all. The first one is, what do I like to do in my free time? So, I it actually varies for me. Sometimes I play 2K, sometimes I go to the gym downstairs, sometimes I'll just run around dancing, singing. Do I play any musical instruments? Let's see. If you count middle school, then yes. I did play the trumpet for a little bit. I was trying to switch to clarinet. Trumpet wasn't the best idea for me because I didn't have a lot of hot air in my lungs. Do I like to dance? Yes, because now I gotta teach this one how to dance before our wedding. Hi. Nostalgic day. Look. There. Yeah. Not there. <laughs> I gotta teach Nostalgic Dave how to dance before our wedding. Say yeah. hi. Hello. I'm yeah. sitting on the sidelines while she's doing that until she actually needs me in. But yeah. Look okay. up. We have a camera. I was. Like, I was. Have... I was reading the thingy, my Bobby. I mean, I saw you looking down here. That's why I'm saying just make sure you're facing the camera. <laughs> Still kind of new to this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Talk about technology, gadgets, and cars. I actually do know how a little bit about cars. My stepdad, who was a mechanic, he's, on, he's basically at this point the only dad I'll ever know and the only dad I'll ever love, even if he is my stepdad. He has actually taught me how to change a tire. He's teaching me on how to change my oil. He has also taught me lots of other things that normally a girl would not know. Whereas I have PlayStation 4 as well, which was a Christmas present last year. A speaker that my brother had gotten me for my birthday. And touchscreen laptop. I also used to have an iPad, and I kind of sold that w one night out of my own stupidity, and then basically had to go to T-Mobile to sign into my phone again. Let's just say the eSIM card's not the smartest idea on the history of iPhones. And as for... The thing about cars as well, I also plan on getting a new one on my birthday in June. And it's going to be a Chevy Spark. So if you guys ever see a blue Chevy Spark on the highway, look for me. The Pink Fox. So next section is work in school. What do you do in, or study? So I was actually trying to study forensic science at one point, and then I changed my major to nursing because I've always wanted to help people. I just didn't know like how exactly I wanted to do it. So that actually changed a couple of times for me. What was my most or least favorite subject in school? Let's put it this way. As... Nostalgic Dave's is most favorite is math. That was my least favorite, and history was my favorite. Because I had the most awesome history teacher ever. Like, he was also my 7th grade history teacher. And when I changed schools, he became my 10th and 11th grade history teacher as well. Mr. Thompson was literally the best history teacher on the planet. I hope he's still teaching there because he was awesome. All right. How do you get along with the people you work with? Just like any other group, we do gossip. We do gossip, and we do talk a lot of crap. Mainly about issues that are going on in the workplace 
as well as disagreeing on how things are should be run. Like, for example, there was this one situation once where this supervisor from another store came in just talking about someone else's employees like they weren't there. And the whole situation just escalated. Do you love working there and are you doing or are you doing it for the money? I do like working there. No, I'm not doing it for the money because I make I could make more at Amazon and I will be making more Amazon. The free sandwiches, that was a perk though. What is my dream job? Let's put it this way. My dream job is to get my LPN. My grandma was an RN. My aunt's a PA. An RN is a registered nurse and a PA is a physician's assistant. I, my grandma passed away six, seven years ago on my older, my little cousin's birthday. She's a year younger than me. And I didn't get to say goodbye to her. So me wanting to get my LPN is my way of making her proud. And also doing it for myself. And so my Nostalgic Staves kids can look at us and say, Mom saves lives. Instead of just goofing off. You know what I mean? (laughs) I don't mean it that way, babe. I just meant saving lives. Yes, laughter can be the best medicine, but also medicine can help people too. What countries have I traveled to? Honestly, as much as I wanted to go to Paris or on cruise ships, I actually have not been outside the country. I... My family has been on a lot of cruises in the past, like my little sister and my older brother went on a cruise with my grandma before she passed away, as well as my cousins. I did not get to go on that cruise. I kind of wanted to because it was a cruise to the Caribbean, but oh well. What was your biggest experience of culture shock in another country? I don't even really know. Um, honestly, culture shock isn't really that, like, culture is big to me, but not in the way that you would think. I admire other people's cultures, and I admire them for coming to this country for better opportunities and stuff like that and still keeping their cultures to themselves. I mean, like, true to their cultures. But at the same time, I don't know half mine enough to know what to do with it. So, where in the world would you like to live most and why? Paris, France. Because it's the city of love. And I love Nostalgic Dave. He is my Eiffel Tower human. How does your home country compare to here? I mean... That question makes no sense, but okay. What is the worst thing that's happened to you while traveling? Let's see. Let's put it this way. So we went to California my first year of living in the state where I do now. And the summer we went to California, my aunt decides to lock my grandma out of the hotel room. She legit takes the lock off of the door and makes my aunt, my grandma come into my room because they were arguing about something. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the worst situation. Um, have you ever traveled by yourself? Yes. It was about four or five times. Um, I've gone to Arkansas by myself twice. 
And it was a big step for me because I was young. I was 11 when I first went, um, right, turning 12. And then I went again on my own when I was 16. Um, it was kind of scary even then because I didn't know where I was going or where I was walking into or who I was talking to. So, do I speak any other languages? No, because when I took three years of Spanish, somehow I passed it with the B and I slept through all three years of it. I'm not even going to lie. Entertainment. What is my favorite movie or TV show? Um, that's a very hard question. I would have to say it'd be Victorious because she proved that going from the bottom, you can come from the bottom and still go to the top. What movie, book, show are you ashamed to admit that you love? Let's see. Dork Diaries because it's so childish. <laughs> what movie are you looking forward to being released? I don't really go to movies partly because of I just don't like movie theaters. Um, it just gets too strange, like a strange feeling for me in general being in there. So, yeah. What kind of books do I usually read? Dorky, stupid, graphic novels. What kind of music are you into right now? So it's a mixture between country, pop, Victorious, Disney. I'm all over the place. The only one that I don't listen to is rap or hip hop. What concerts have you been to? So I've been to a concert with Hailstorm, New Year's Day, and In This Moment. Um, I've also seen um, Garth Brooks at King's Dominion when I went with my little sister. And it was a really good concert. Um, so, yeah. What movies have you watched more than once? Let's see. Frozen. Pitch Perfect. Um, Descendants. Descendants 2, Descendants 3. I mean, yeah. Do you play video games? Sometimes, I guess, depending on the type. I play 2K, NBA 2K, um, Call of Duty, Mortal Kombat. Those are my three favorite. Talk about a recent restaurant you or they went to. Um, so recently, me, Aaron, and Nostalgic Dave went to Chipotle. I haven't had Chipotle since I was in California, actually. And it was very good. It was about a week ago. And what type of cooking do I do at home? I make spaghetti. I put all the Italian spices in it. Um, it's just, I find it a lot better when you put Italian spices in it. That might be interesting coming from an Italian, but still. What type of cooking do they do at home? Do they just like... <laughs> oh, I already read that one. I already did that one. Do they usually cook food from a specific culture? No, I don't. I'm mainly all over the place. For example, I'll cook German wieners one day, and then spaghetti another, chicken cordon bleus another. I mean, do they follow any specific diet? No, but I do like to go to the gym to work off the calories that I've worked over the week. So... Oh boy, past experiences. Um, this one is a very 
sensitive subject for me sometimes. Where did you grow up? I grew up in the smallest, let's put it this way, Podunk Town of Virginia. It was right on the border of North Carolina, and it was the most redneckish part of Virginia. I can tell you that much right now. What did you want to be when you grew up? So when I was in sixth grade, I actually did this career project on a doctor. That's when I knew I wanted to help people watching how much joy people helping other people in my community brought to each other. Like when my house burnt down, everybody came together as a community back in Virginia. Everybody came together as a community just to help my family out. And that was very big for me. Because not only did I see how much it brought people together, I see how much people thought of me, like what people thought of me. When I actually got back to school the week after, my RTC teacher called me a hero. I said, no, I'm not really. She's like, yeah, you are. I said, no, I'm not Major Hoffman. I did what you, I just did what you taught me to do. Her exact words were to me after that. Not many people take it in. It goes in one ear, not the other. Not many people follow through with it. You did. That's what makes you a hero. Because I actually got everyone out at 2 in the morning, at midnight, with the whole situation. Stayed calm, pretty calm, up until we were all out, and I just watched everything go up. Um, What were your past jobs like? So, my first job was working at McDonald's. Which, strangely, I ended up doing when I moved here for about three months. Then was a TNA, which is a temporary nurses, nursing assistant, because Utah, the state of Utah in general is in need of C- CNAs and LPNs and stuff like that. And I also worked at a firehouse subs. I'm work- currently working at a subway. I've also worked at a Walmart, which was a very interesting job. Let's put it that way. The so one night we had a bomb threat called in to Walmart, and this is like, and then we were out there for like three hours, freezing our butts off, cold. Meanwhile, half the store was being looted, and then our inventory went down. I've also worked at Ross, which is a really good job for me at the time. Do you have any siblings? Yes. So, as of right now, I have three sisters and one brother. One sister I know of, she has recently gotten married. I've never met her. The sister that I do know of on my dad's side, these two are my sisters on my dad's side. My other sister on my dad's side is on her fourth kid and she's only 23 she has had this is her gonna be her third girl and she has one boy and as for my little sister at this point i don't know where she stands with our family it's a very complicated situation that's all i can say about it um, big brother, big brother, redhead, Brett is always going to be big brother to me. Doesn't matter if we're getting along or not, or if I'm pranking him. We've always gotten along for the most part. Um, there was one time where I just scared the crap out of him and it was funny and his girlfriend asked me to help him do it, her do it too. And it was just like him and his, fia- his cr- now fiance, we're watching American Horror Stories in his room, and he went upstairs to move our car, and she asked me to hide under his bed and start playing ghost sounds on my phone. She said, babe, what's that noise? He said, um, the TV, because I started playing ghost sounds on my phone. And she said, go get your shoes. I want to go for a walk. He's like, I can walk barefoot. She said, go get your damn shoes right now. So he does, and... I reach her his foot and he screams like this little girl jumping from basically the desk to the door so this white desk all the way to the door 
And me and her just sit there laughing about it for like 20, 30 minutes. Laughing our butts off, saying next time we pull a prank like that on my brother, we got to record us into America's Funniest Videos. Because it was like one of the funniest pranks ever. I've, I've, like, that was like the only prank I've ever pulled on my brother. But two weeks later, he got me back <laughs> trying to scare me at like two in the morning when I was going to the bathroom and he just snuck up on me and was like, boo! <laughs> Find out if you three, well, five have shared any common interests as kids um honestly i don't know my brother and i yes um my brother and i were always extroverts we always like hanging out with friends whereas my little sister she was the black sheep of us three and my older sisters i don't really know much about them like i said so yeah. Number 36. Wait, what is it? Okay. So I guess I'll just wait. Okay, it looks like this is the one where I need to jump in. Because this is where things start becoming co-op. <laughs> ah, yeah. Um. So just scroll down. I'll help you out with that. So with this first one, let's see if we can do it like this. So with the first one, the question basically is, why are you here? Just an answer why it like that. Why am I in Utah or why am I alive? General, general here. Okay, so... Why my, are you here? <laughs> my stepdad, who at this point, I'm going to call him dad because he is. My dad, he was in the military when he married my, my mom. And about six years ago, he actually got out of the military because of health reasons. He ended up going to Iraq with a heart condition and getting back with like two years later having a heart attack not only that but he had gotten blown up by an IED and lost half of his hearing um after that after he retired from the army he and my mom moved out here where we came with them and two years after that I met ex-boyfriend now who ended up leading me to this one. And I'm glad he did. Because now I have someone I plan on spending the rest of my life with. I don't care if he's seven years older than me or what. He is one of the most influential and important people in my life. And he knows it. That's why he's leaning on my head. <laughs> you only saw the expressions I was making. Okay. Oh, boy. To put the next one simply, make a comment about something you're wearing. <laughs> I'm wearing or you? Um, whatever you're wearing is adorable. Be cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, gee, I wonder who else is nearby. Nostalgic Dave. Nostalgic Dave is just hovering over me like he's crazy. Just like you were yesterday. <laughs> Either way, this is how we live. So, now it's your turn to answer this. Anything new, unusual, or different about your environment? So many things. So many things. Um, I can only... So, let's put it this way. Last year, I had moved out of my mom's house. Moved from near BYU to where we live now and it was very interesting to say the least and now I wouldn't have it any other way because this dork proposed to me 
And now we're getting married on June 21st. Yay! Summer solstice marriage. <laughs> That's going to be interesting, given our birthdays are in the same month. Well, his is the 4th, mine's 13th, and then our wedding day is on June 21st. As I so said, we, month. <laughs> so we figured, celebrate our birthdays together, and then our wedding anniversary. Might as well make it easier on us. Yeah. Let's or... just hope we don't have kids in June. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Put more attention to your physical senses. Clear your mind. <laughs> ah, that felt so weird. <laughs> <laughs> is there some mu- is there music playing? Some... I can hear one of his roommates talking. They're just chatting their chat box. And this one's breathing in my ear. To be frank, that's nothing new. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, other than that, nothing really. Future plans. What are you doing this weekend? Like he said yesterday, we planned on going to my mom's because... She was technically right about one thing. Yesterday I said this weekend, which means... For you guys, that would have been two weeks ago, but it was actually one week ago, and it was a week from that. Yeah. I, got, I got the date wrong. Oops. <laughs> so, it my mom's birthday is this weekend. So. Well, next weekend. Next weekend, yeah. But, and so she plans on having her birthday celebrated before she goes on a cruise for her birthday and their anniversary, because their anniversary is March 10th, whereas my mom's birthday is february 18th so for reference i thought it was two weeks ago as of when you guys actually when this actually gets uploaded i was two, it, i thought it was two weeks ago because we're going to be we're sell we celebrated it two weeks ago but um it was actually last week even just because of the reason she just explained so what the next question is local events that you are looking forward to. What local events have you met this day and age? We are in COVID times. There is no such thing. It's either mask or be dead. (laughs) What does the word local mean? (laughs) What is an event? (laughs) Would you prefer to live in the farm or in the city? I mean, this is a question I answered on when with him earlier. This is kind of where we simultaneously started answering. (laughs) I like living on a farm because I grew up on a farm. That's actually how I got this scar right here above my eyebrow. I actually got attacked by a rooster, which is kind of funny. Which we can save that (laughs) for another time if you want to go into detail about it. (laughs) Um, But I actually like horses, and I grew up with the horse, and... My southern accent still comes out with my when I talk to my mom, so the only farm th- for me, because I like riding horses and just being around farm animals in general, because they're so much fun. Next. What is your main goal right now? Um, let's see, my main goal is to get enough money saved up to where... Not only can I get my LPN, but I can also take care of family issues and situations in this dork right here. Those statements should not be put side by side. Family issues. I meant family (laughs) situations. Like if my mom needed me to take something for her somewhere, I could or whatever. I'm just messing with Pink Fox, guys. Don't take that as, out of context like I was joking about. I was just messing with her. And taking care of this weird dork. I mean, I mean he can take care of me, too. It's just... It goes both ways. One of us makes more mo- money than the other. Okay, <laughs> I'm not! Talk about men or women. Um... I'd rather not. Uh, that was a weird one. I think even I skipped that one. Well, I did in a joking manner yesterday, but yeah, just skip that one. Ask them what their friends are like. What are your friends like? 
<laughs> you have two. I have you and Aaron, and both are involved in this channel, so you guys already know. Derpy it is. Yeah. Have they had the same friends most of their life and made a lot of new ones? Or Let's made a lot of new ones? Yeah. We've all moved so many times that made a lot of new ones is the direct option. <laughs> it's the only option. Hey, what about your family? That, well, I mean, yeah, I guess you could count that. Anyway. Oh, I see. <laughs> Question 48. Or statement 48. Ask about their family. What do I do? I, th I think it's a compliment, a, a statement involving question 47. I'm dumb. I mean, uh, your family has moved a lot. Yeah. Mine yeah. hasn't. Mine's only lived in like two places. With me? Three. If you're, un if you're only including me being alive, they've moved 11 times. 10, actually. Well, when my dad was stationed in North Carolina, that's where me and my mom lived. But before that, we lived in Virginia, like I said earlier. So, and then we moved here. Yeah. Okay, number 49. Talk about something interesting idea you know from psychology. Let's see. I got something. It's more sociology than psychology, but she blinded me with science. <laughs> Have you ever heard that song? No. Okay. It's weird, like me. I'll Let's see. Back. Psychology was one of my favorite subjects from the same teacher that taught me history. He would legit talk about his divorce as a psychology lesson. Like, all the time. It was so funny. Like, we'd have a psychology exam, and he would basically just keep talking about his divorce instead. Stop trying to my ear! <laughs> Jeez. Okay. All right. What, what do you believe is most true that people would disagree with you? I think I actually, quite frankly, I think I actually skipped this one yeah, when I did. did it. Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. I kind of answered it, but with a lengthy kind of why do we, why does this even, why kind of thing. Um, what people would probably disagree with me a lot more on is moral standpoint like some people have different morals than me and then they expect me to follow their morals even though i was taught differently and to be frank that's probably one of the biggest problems i've ever seen when it comes to realities like everyone there are a lot of people who expect that and it's kind of sad but you're not wrong it is what it is i guess being a military child it's a lot different than a lot of other people's morals and it gets can get a bit confusing once brought to millions and millions of different morals throughout time. So, anyway, let's go ahead and conclude this. Um, uh, links here for stuff that you guys might want to see uh, about me, stuff over here. About Pink Fox. About anybody on this crew, to be frank. Uh, wanted if you guys want to check out that, <laughs> yeah. I'm just kind of helping her out with these outros since this is our second video, official video on here, even if I'm included or not. Uh, the About Me's will be to our left, uh, well, our right, but the left side. Uh, not quite what you're looking for. Check out the right side where YouTube will tell you a video you might enjoy, or check out the channel, which is basically hovering over this thing of a bobber. Which is hovering over my face. <laughs> All right, go ahead and give an outro and we'll close up, okay? But this is the Pink Fox signing off. See ya! Bye-bye.